Welcome to week six. I, 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 should I take it as a bad thing that we started at seven tables and we've whittled down to three? Oh, I think no, a lot of people are on vacation or they're, they're just, yeah, right. So tonight is a, a wrap up or a review of last week. We're gonna look at uh, one no Trump opening bids and a lot of stamen auctions, what to do with game forcing hands, what to do with invitational hands and how playing at the two level in your long suit is better than leaving partners stuck in one no Trump. So, <laughs> Willa, welcome. <laughs> I think you should be a table of five, actually. So we'll just, we'll have you join. Yeah, just for now, we'll sub you in. How's that? We'll, t- we'll do a table, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, somebody will be a kibitzer, yeah. Okay, and if more people come, we'll form another table. Okay, everybody, can you take out your cards, please, and grab a suit, and we're going to uh, deal out a bridge hand. So let's give the following hand to the West player at each table. Here we go. Uh, Spades, the King 9-3 to West. Face up like a dummy. Descending from you. Spades, the King 9-3. Hearts, the Ace, Jack, 5-4. Ace, Jack, 5-4. Diamonds, the King, Jack, 9-8. King, Jack, nine, eight of diamonds. And in clubs, let's do the ace and the queen. King, King, Jack, nine, King Jack, nine, eight. Jack. Jack of diamonds, please. Oh, sorry. I'll just count this up. The diamonds again, please. King Jack, nine. King Jack, nine, eight of diamonds. What's that add up to? 8, 10, 11, 14, 15. One too many. All right, let's change the jack of diamonds to the 10. I'm going to take away a point. King 10, 9, 8 of diamonds. King 10, 9, 8. Do you have 13 cards and, and how many points? Okay, so go ahead and open the bidding. West. Put it in writing, please. What would you open the bidding? And we'll give, now we're going to give East a bridge hand. Here we go. Spades. The 10-7-2. 10-7-2 to, wet, uh, to the East player, please. Spades, the 10-7-2. Hearts, the King 10-9-3. Uh, King 10-9-3. To East, hearts, the king, 10, 9, 3. Diamonds, let's have the ace, jack, 7, 4. Ace, jack, 7, 4. And what's that leaving clubs? Uh, How about the king and a small club? King, deuce, king, deuce of clubs. So how about this, Catherine, Kathy? Okay, so I'm going to do it again, once again, from the top. So if you could grab this suit. Spades to west should be the king, nine, three. Spades to west, the king, nine, three. Hearts, ace, jack, five, four. Diamonds, king, ten, nine, eight. King, ten, nine, eight. King, ten, nine, eight. Spades to the east player, please. The ten, seven, two. Ten, seven, two. Hearts, the king, ten, nine, three. King, ten, nine, three. Diamonds, the ace, jack, seven, four. Ace, jack, seven, four, and, the, and then we're set. Okay, so East, what, do you, what would you respond if your partner opened one no trump? Three. Okay, folks, I see, I see uh, plan... Oh, have you guys got, you got your bid? Perfect. Okay. Shh. So tonight, the good news is we're going to play a lot of hands. So I'm not going to do as much talking tonight. But what I've got set ready for you are eight bridge hands. Potentially, you could declare two hands tonight, be the dummy twice, and get to defend four hands. So that, that's if we get back on track. So I just want to... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a review of last week and consolidating everything. 
West has a clear cut. No, it's not a two heart bit. I'll just let me walk you through it. We all agree that one no Trump has a one no Trump, uh, sorry, West has a one no Trump opening bid. 15 to 17, high card points, balanced. Uh, you love your doubleton, don't you? Ace queen, you can handle a club lead. If they lead a club, it's right in your ace queen, no problem. But even if your doubleton was the three and the two, as long as your hand is balanced with 15 to 17 points, you love opening one no trump. Uh, take, it, take my word for now, but later on in your bridge future, you'll ha learn some more bells and whistles when we open one no trump. But again, and I can't hammer this point uh, hard enough, is that partner now knows you're in this tight little box of 15 to 17 points. It makes it easier to know whether we belong in game or not. East, you just saw your partner open the bidding one no trump. Have you answered one of the questions? Do you know if you belong in game? Yes. Yeah, how many points do you have? As soon as you have 11 and your partner opens one no trump, you know you're going to game. The question is, which game? Now, I've been advocating for locating your major suit fits. If you have a 4-4 major fit or a 5-3 major fit or a 6-2 major fit, you kind of want to play there for having the comfort of trumps. Even though game in a major is one level higher, those extra trumps give you the safety that uh, they can't run a suit on you. And um, if you can rough something in the dummy, there's your extra trick. Plus it's worth and it's worth more. So in the duplicate game on a Tuesday night, four hearts making four is 420. Three no making three is 400. So the people in four will, hearts will beat the people in three no trump. Um, so I see some correct bids on the table and I see a good plan B. Let me start with a good plan B. Three no trump. One no trump, three no trump. You belong in game. It's a tough auction to lead against. They have, there's no clues for the opponents. So you just jump to three no trump. However, you have a four card major. So we make the bid to start to locate our four card major and that is Stamen. Thank you, Gary. So let's bid two clubs east. Let's bid two clubs and west, your partner is saying what and asking what? Who's done their homework? <laughs> I have a four card major, do you? And once we accept that two clubs always promises a four card major. And minimum eight points. And minimum eight points. And Peter, one day in your future, I'll show you how you can do it with fewer points. But we'll, just, we'll save that for a second glass of wine. OK, so two clubs. What was your answer, West? Do you have a four card major? So you, you just bid it, bid your four card major. If you have two four card majors, what do you do first, hearts or spades? Hearts, because it's bidding up the line. So we're going to uh, just two, just two. Yep. So it goes two hearts. And now, East, you, you saw your partner respond with two hearts. What do you rebid? She who knows goes. And Kathy, there we go. Yeah, like a book. So Randy, you would just now jump to four hearts. So you need eight points. And that becomes the final contract. And that, this is another important element. Um, I'll just introduce the concept. In every bridge auction, you have a captain, and, uh, and that they're like a describer. Sorry, uh, you have a, a captain and uh, a describer. So in this auction, the one no Trump opener is the describer. They're just saying, hey, partner, I've got 15 to 17 points. How does that grab you? And then the captain of the auction is the stamen bidder because they're, they're eliciting information from their partner and they're going to determine what level you belong at. You can invite them and you'll throw the ball back in the uh, describer's court. But for the most part, as soon as partner bids game, uh, the one no Trump opener has nothing more to say. You can't suddenly say to yourself, wow, I really love my hand. I think I can make six. Mm -hmm. No, you, you took your shot at, at your first bid when you showed 15 to 17. So four hearts becomes the final contract. And if we just look at, yeah? What if, what if um, East has four hearts and four spades and the bidding goes like it did that before the last bid? 
Oh, okay. So let's let's take a look at that. Let's let's take the king of clubs away from east, please, and make it the uh, t and take away the two of spades, and make it the queen jack of spades. So we've we've Ooh. taken away three points, and we've added three points. So is this your question, Peter? What yeah. happens? Yeah. At, yeah. Okay. So is the the auction on the table sufficient, or would the auction change at all, everybody? Don't you have to be the lower instead? Well, one no trump opener, that's, that's the same. Two clubs, that's the same. Two hearts, that's the same. Now, now here's the question. Has the auction changed? Change the auction if you feel like it or just leave the one on the table if you, if you feel like it. I'd say no, I'd say stay with hearts because she said she likes hearts. I don't know what you have to say. Yeah, I don't know. tell me I don't have it in either of those two in terms of price. So I could I could say without it getting expensive to space. Then you can say three hearts and I could say four. That's if two spades were forcing, and it's, it actually has a different meaning, two spades, yeah. But, uh, no, if it's a, after he bids two hearts, so the answer is this auction does not change. You've got the perfect, yeah, we're still playing four hearts. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't, sorry. You, you won't want to mention anything else? Yeah, because you've had your two questions are answered, how high and where. How high? Game. Where? Hearts. As soon as you bid two hearts? You have all the information you need to make it four hearts. We're not going to look, we can't play hearts and spades at the same time, so just think of it as mission accomplished. Yeah. But when I say two hearts, aren't I saying that I have, a mate, I have it either in hearts or spades? You're saying, no, you're saying I have hearts for sure, but you might have four spades. Right. Yeah. So, so, so two hearts doesn't say that I have four card spaces and I don't have hearts. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, reconvene here. I'll just go over some of the messaging. All right. So, so what was uh? <laughs> This, this auction does not change everybody. Okay. The, fact that you, the fact that East is 4-4 in the majors, that just gives them two shots at finding a 4-4 four, four fit. Let's look at it. Let's, let's look at it, everybody. Make your heart suit as, as, as bad as you can over in the East. If you can, make it the 5-4-3-2. You might borrow the four and the five. Yeah, give east, uh, give east the five, four, three, two of hearts. Give, give west the king, ten, nine, eight. King, ten, nine, eight, opposite, opposite, five, four, three, two. So, somewhere. I don't know where my eight of hearts is. Better, right? This is five, four, three, two is five. Yeah, we're going to make it really, really bad. Oh, there it is. King ten. King ten nine. King King ten nine. Yeah. Okay. West should have in hearts the king ten nine eight, and East. I believe Peter wants us to give the the East player the five four three two. Is that right? King ten nine eight of hearts in the West, please. So let's give East the Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades. Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades. <laughs> All right. That's okay. I'm going to make this point. Now, is that what we want, Peter? Four bad hearts and four amazing spades? Okay, I got this. Take a look at the West Hand. It's been decimated. We have to get it up to 15 to 17 points. So do you want to beef up the West Hand to 50, make it a one no trump opener, please? Do, you can do whatever you want. We'll randomize here. So that's good. We'll just keep it as king 10, 9, 8. Uh, nine, so we, we, we have to improve the hand somehow. So we'll have, we'll have to give this the king of clubs and maybe this the queen of diamonds. What does that do? Yeah, what does that do? That gets a 6, 10. There's 15. And uh, 4, 4, 3, 2. Okay. How's that? Uh, 
It's very balanced. No singletons. Okay. Here's the thing, and I remember, Peter, I remember, I remember learning this concept too. Just because we, we, we weakened one suit, so because the trumps are, are quite weak, right? Like we've got the king, ten, nine, eight of hearts opposite the five, four, three, two. It's not the best trump suit, but it is a four, four fit. So that's, we can make that trumps. We could work with that. Is there a way to explore the space? Or no. Just forget it. Yeah. So here's the two words that I would say. Mission accomplished. When we bid two clubs saying, I have a four card major, do you? And partner is able to bid a four card major. No, it's not our favorite one, but it is one. We'll make that trumps. Because the 15 to 17 points will be somewhere in their hand. And we've got a lovely dummy for them. We've got four very nice spades that will still be tricks after trumps are drawn. Now, we might have a couple trump losers. But that just means we'll have fewer losers in the side suits. Another factor is, we real well, especially if our shape is four, 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 one as a dummy. Do you all see the advantage of having a singleton in the dummy? Yeah, because yeah. it's gone. And now, ch chances our partner doesn't have any club losers. Here we have the ace king. Here we have the ace king queen. Here we have the ace queen. So the queen of clubs is a loser, and the queen of clubs is a loser. So there goes the queen of clubs loser. You can rough it in the dummy. So it kind of comes back in a, in a way. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> um, if partner bids two spades, you're more than happy to raise spades. Now that dummy hand, that's a pretty nice dummy. We're getting into the slam no, range. If you bid two spades, that messes up, then, then the tenor doesn't know what to bid. No, if it goes one no trump, two club stamen, and partner bids two spades, they don't have four hearts, you found, now you're gonna, okay. now you're gonna raise spades. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's a good question. We like to make our 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 well placed high cards it to be in our in our trump suit, but sometimes we have really bad trump suits. We have bad trump fits. So it just makes you a better card player and how to deal with those. So it's not it's unbeatable. It's yes. It's mostly about the number. If you have an eight card trump fit, that's that's workable. All right. Okay, so I just wanted to get to one last thing to show you today. So I'm going to, listen carefully, I'm going to try to retrieve that first hand. You ready? Spades to west, the king, seven, three. King, seven, three of spades. Uh, we could, I believe the hearts were the ace, jack, five, four. Ace, jack, five, four of hearts to west. Uh, let's do clubs the ace and the ten. Ace ten of clubs. And that leaves room for four diamonds. Six ten. How about the king ten nine eight of diamonds to west? Uh, spades to the east. Let's have the ten and the two. Spades, the ten and the two. Hearts. Let's do the king and the 10 and the 9 and the 7. King, 10, 9, 7. And in clubs, let's have the king and two little ones. The king, 3, 2 will do. King, 3, 2. That's to the east player. Uh, diamonds, we've got. And spades, we've got. So does everybody have 13 cards? OK, now I'm going to call it a hand for the south player. I'm going to call a hand out for the south player. And what I would like you to do is uh, just give it to south and south. Let also put it down like a dummy. So we're going to have a complete uh, 52 cards face up. Here we go. Uh, to south, please, the spades, the queen, jack, Eight six queen jack eight six and the rest go to north, also face up. And in hearts to south, let's have the queen and the two, the queen and the two, and the rest to north. And in diamonds, let's have the uh, to south the queen and two little ones, the queen and two little ones, whatever's closest to your thumb, the rest to north. And in clubs, uh, the four smallest clubs.
to south and the four highest clubs to north. All right, we'll do a little exercise here. If it, you may not have the auction on the table, but I'll just repeat the auction, everybody. West opens the bidding, one no trump. East has a clear cut stamen bid and bids two clubs. West responds two hearts, saying, I have four hearts and I may have four spades. We'll sort that out later. And then East, you jump to four hearts. And four hearts becomes the final contract. Now, what I would like to do, just as a little exercise, we're going to put the North players on the spot. So, <coughs> Kathy, pretend you're North at your table. Kathy and Willa, pretend you're North and, and help Drew out here. So, all the North players, I would like you, against that auction, you're on lead against four hearts, yes? Yeah, because the, the uh, West player bid hearts first. What would be your <coughs> opening lead? So, first, let's let North figure out their own lead all by themselves. Okay, everybody, I am happy to report, I think we're all leading the club queen. Some of you quicker than others. Fantastic lead, fantastic. Now we're gonna to go to plan B. Queen of clubs is our plan A. Let's, let's, let's say a little uh, bridge fairy says you can't lead the club queen on this hand and you can't question the bridge fairy. So you're just asking for plan B. What's your plan B? Get rid of those yeah. And, and a yeah. plan B could be a low club if you want it to be, or it could be a different suit. What would be plan B? And six of diamonds is your plan B? I play the two of diamonds. Okay, and what would you play? Plan B is the three of diamonds? Is it? Yeah. yeah, that was your, maybe that was your plan A. Okay. You going to lead three, are we sticking with that? Or you want three That's the plan A, so we can put that back. I'm just going through a kind of a priority of, a, you know, if you do lead a diamond, it has to be your highest diamond. Because, because when we play, when we're on defense, we play a high card, and it's not much to work with. But a, a, a keen eye partner will see first the three and then the two. That sends a message that you're now out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Uh, I want to get to some hands, so I'm just gonna do this quickly. Here we go. the The best lead ever in the history of bridge is the top the the top of a touching honor sequence. Ace from Ace King, King from King Queen Jack, Queen from Queen Jack Ten. And if you don't have the Ten, the Nine will do. That's a, those are powerful opening leads, and they don't give anything away. Two. Well, in a suit contract, you just you definitely need two touching. So the queen and the jack would right. suffice. You mean, in, an, you mean if it's not in an you in a in a not. suit contract, the queen from queen jack would suffice. In trump, you need a trump. Uh, against a trump contract, against what four hearts. What you're saying is, if you have touching honors in trump, yes. You no, 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 okay. no. Yes. no. Okay. So, so non-trump touching honors. That's right. But, but last week I had a hand in the mix where uh, one of the opening leaders had the king of spades and the queen and the jack. That was a great opening lead because yeah. it gives nothing away. I'll, I'll say this and it might not make any sense, but we're gonna, I'm going to start to make it, make it make sense this week and next week when we start to look at opening leads and why there's certain leads we don't make. So can we just agree for now that the queen of clubs is the best lead? Okay. A lot of people gravitated towards the diamond suit as their plan B and I would agree with you. And if you're going to lead a diamond, it has to be a specific one. Do you know which one? Everybody has a doubleton diamond. If you're going to lead a diamond, that's the suit you choose to lead, you have to lead your highest one. And the reason why is because high-low is the way we indicate to our partner legally that we have only two. If you lead your lowest diamond, so let's say you have the six and the five on the table, if you start with your five, the next time your partner sees you play a diamond, it's going to be the six. Now you've played low, high. If I'm your partner, I'm playing you for another diamond, if not a f another diamond. So it's a legal uh, signal that you can send to your partner on defense when you can't see each other's cards. So we need to have these agreements. So we lead top of a doubleton. Now, just for fun, let's go to plan C. You can't lead a club now, you can't lead a diamond. Do you lead a spade or a heart? Go ahead. Spade, hearts, or trump. times. Here we go. Here, if you haven't heard it before, you're going to hear it again. 
and you're going to hear it again, and you're going to forget, and you're going to make the mistake, and then you're going to hear it again. Against a suit contract, do not underlead any aces. So you see your spade suit? That's not an option. It's not a plan C or a D or an E. You cannot lead a spade. And I'll show you why. Let's see why. You ready to see why? Let's all lead our fourth best spade, everybody. Four spades, please. How's this trick going to go? What's going to happen next? Down comes the dummy, and Declare can call for whatever he wants or she wants. She can call for the 10, or she can call for the 2. What card is East or South going to play? No, a low one because they don't. No, they have to play third hand high. Third hand high. They're going to play the Queen or the Jack, and we'll see later on why it must be the Jack. So let's play the Jack, please, South. Jack. And now, West, what are you going to play on this trick? The King. You just scored your King of Spades, yes? Okay. Let's, let's put the cards back. We, North, are not under leading our ace of spades. Let's lead our ace of spades. Down comes the ace of spades, please. What did you gather in your little fishnet? You gathered the two, the six, and the three. Ooh, big spender. You just took nothing. It's like, I don't know, maybe winning, a, winning taking your queen and winning a pawn. Is that the right analogy? I don't know. So the ace didn't grab anything. It didn't get any material. So what we do on defense is we be patient. Aces are meant to take kings and queens. Watch what happens if we don't touch this suit. Later on, uh, just let me finish this. Later on, at some point, spades are going to be played by some other player. Not us, not north. What's going to happen? Let's say it goes two from the dummy. Uh, second hand low from, you could play the eight if you wanted to, you could play the jack if you wanted to, you could play second hand low, whatever you play. The next player is going to play the king, Declare is going to play the king. No, because I don't know the ace. You don't know where it is, but you, the reason why Declare played a spade towards their king, that's the finesse. They were hoping the ace was in the south hand. This is the 50% of the time where this finesse is going to lose. But you as defenders don't want to just give it to them. So your ace, by being patient, grabs a king. And now look at the highest spade at the table. Who's got it? South, partner, for two spade tricks. Peter, you had a question. So because we don't have a no trump here, yeah. and because uh, your north, north has a balanced hand, yep. then you can't say, well, I leave the ace of spades because my, my, my partner might have a boy. It's too, everything's too balanced. Yeah. You have to see that that's not true. Yeah, possible. you're not going to give your partner a spade. Uh, although, theoretically, it's possible. They could have a 4-4 four, four spade fit. Yeah, L low, low likelihood. Yeah. Uh, Trump. Yeah. Um, has anybody heard the old adage, when in doubt, lead a Trump? Yeah, that's a 1950s adage. Uh, usually we want to lead a Trump when we, we know what we're doing. And there are times to lead a Trump. No, but let's just go back to plan A. Uh, plan A is the queen of clubs because we're trying to promote a club trick. We're, we're prepared to sacrifice, sacrifice our queen to knock out their ace or king. And if need be, we might need a little something something from partners, such as the 10. Now, as it turns out, the queen of clubs, it might not build a trick for us, but it doesn't give anything away. And the only suit that can give something away, as it turns out, is the spade suit or the heart suit or the diamond suit. Any one of those leads hands declare the contract. Do you want, do you want to see why? Let's pretend we're the declare. Pretend you're West, everybody. When the dummy comes down, how many losers do you have in the spade suit? Declare, how many losers do you have? Two, maybe one. It depends where the ace of spades is. We don't know where it is. If the ace of spades is in the south, we have one spade loser. They get their ace, we get our king, the dummy is now void. How many heart losers do you have potentially? Oh, by the way, here's how we, here's how we determine a loser. Just look at the heart suit. I'll walk you through it. Do you have the ace of hearts? Yes. That's not a loser. Do you have the king of hearts? That's not a loser. Do you have the queen of hearts? No, that's a potential loser. We don't have it. They might score it. Now, if we had 11 hearts between us, 
including the ace and the king, do we have any heart losers? No, because our ace and king will draw their queen. But when we only have eight hearts between us, a trump suit, uh, and we're missing the queen, that's a potential loser. Now, luckily, we all know how to take a finesse, and if we finesse the right player for it, we won't lose to the queen. So we're on a finesse in the trump suit for the queen. So far, so good? Yeah, except that if we played low to the 10, you might score your queen. So it's a two-way finesse. We, we can play either player for the queen of hearts. Next suit, the diamond suit, similar to the heart suit. Do you have the ace of diamonds? Do you have the king of diamonds? Do you have the queen? One potential diamond loser. One potential heart loser. Two potential spade losers. North, if you lead a low spade or a heart or a diamond, you're going to pick up partner's red queen or you're going to lead away from your ace letting the king of spades score. So the opening leads, as we'll see future weeks now, uh, they, they're the toughest thing to do in bridge. There's a theory that if you made the correct opening lead every time you were on defense, you would be a world champion. Probably have to make a few contracts as declare as well. But opening leads, they just, they confound everybody. Because you can play the percentages and still get it wrong. So the lesson I want you to uh, remember, just going forward, when we go to play these boards, if you're on opening lead today and you have an ace, unless you have the king to go with it, just tuck that suit off to the side mentally and don't lead it. Don't under lead it. Don't bang down your ace. Be patient. Be patient and let the game come to you a little bit. Aces are meant to take kings. And so what we're going to do for the rest of the lesson is you're going to play at your own pace, take your own breaks whenever you feel like it. Uh, lots of boards to play. So I'll hand them out and you can just uh, call me over when you have any questions. Okay. Randy, do you, have a, do you have 15 to 17? No, I just did. I'm sorry. I did that in my way. Okay. Can you scrape up the 15? Okay, so let's. Watch your cards. Because Gary can see them. I want to put David to the challenge here and see if he can, knows what to do over a no trump. I think it's 15. Yeah, okay. It's like it's going to go your way today. Um, Kathy, do you have five hearts in your hand? <laughs> so when you don't, if you don't have a five card major, you have to open your longest minor. Okay, Let me know if you're tied. If you're tied, we'll help you out. But open your longest minor. Yeah. Zero to seven, you pass. Eight to nine, you invite to game. You don't have a four card major, so the sting is not on the table. Uh, ten or more, make sure you get the game. Of a spades, hearts, or diamonds, then he can correct to that suit. Not correct, but he can just bid that suit at the two level, and that's also a sign. That, so this shows a five-card diamond suit, and it's to play. So, uh, this hand, so, so you you wanna, wanna find it's going to come down on the table. How many points do you have? Eight. One more. Uh, no, just, uh, ace, king, queen is a nine. So, you're right in that invitational sweet spot. It's a, just a two point range. So, your bit choices are two club sting, and if you have a four card major, you don't have that, and then two no trump. So, he's gonna, so David's going to bid two no trump, which says, partner, I've got exactly eight or nine points. And now you add his eight or nine to yours. If you have 15, you know there's no game. If you have 17, there's a game. I'm, yep. Okay, so, so try for game, it's not there. Now they're a level higher than, than they really want to be, but try to take them down. So let's see what your opening lead would be. All right, so yeah, we just we kind of just talked about this. 
Now, 13, yeah. 11 to 12. Yeah. But this isn't a Trump. This is right. This is no Trump. So everything I just said about underleading aces is off the table and against no Trump because your aces won't go away. However, you see that suit there? That's a better lead. So after we bid, yep. 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 That's what you're supposed to do. Now, if in a bridge lesson or an easy going game, you just want to use a little uh, mnemonic, you could grab the contract and just tilt it, just to remind you what, what the contract is. If it's a sanctioned ACBL game, they won't let you do that. Yeah. Okay, Francis. Yes. Your lead. So you're in the drivers. Oh my God. You guys are having the perfect auction so far. So I can be aggressive and go. I've got some nice cards. So, so Andy has a mantra about that. Andy, it's, it's about driving. Oh. Uh, so she, think of her bid first of all as showing 11 points. She might have a really good 10 or a so-so 12, but think of it as 11. So add her 11 to yours. Right. If you have 14, you're going. If you have 13 and you're on the, so you're going to go. It's easy. But what Drew's asking is like, I always think that you bid the way you drive. If you're an aggressive driver, you, they're usually aggressive bidders. You've got 11, 10, 10 high card points and one for the extra heart. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, perfect auction. Okay. This one will do. That's, a t that's, a t that's considered an honor? Yeah. So the higher of the two. The 10 is considered an honor, okay. so, the, so the 10 usually shows the 9. Okay. So that's like, when, you're, when you're opening bid or the opening play, you should always, like, pretty well, always do touching honors. That's your first choice. That's your first choice. Now, anything could work out better. A different suit could work out better. So you're just touching honors is a good way to start, a good strategy for yep. just thinking about it. Now, this dummy comes down. The first thing I would say to myself is, okay, I let a diamond. It, it, it hasn't hasn't really worked out for us. We're not getting any diamond tricks, but you're not losing anything. Right. You haven't made a dangerous lead like under leading an ace. Okay. You're making Willa do all the work. That's okay. Oh, okay. So you've got five trumps here and four trumps there. They've got how many? So the percentages are that they divide two, two. So you're not going to take any finesses. You're just going to go low to the king and low to the ace and hope the queen falls. On the board right now. Oh, so cash the king and then low to the ace. I just call for it. Look. Okay, can we just see Randy's hand and David's hand? I just want to show you how the, how the approach might go. How did you do? Down one. Down one. Okay. So at least you didn't get the game. Game would be down two. So they didn't belong in game because it was only 15 points opposite nine. The opening lead. Oh. Um, Francis, yeah. Francis leads the Jack of Diamonds, which promises the 10 and says, oh, by the way, when we're leading against no Trump, we're, we're leading from our longest suit. Unless partner bid a suit, we are leading from our longest suit. Because you're trying to build tricks for your side. And as we've seen, little cards grow up to be cowboys. It, think of it this way. The length. It's, so it's the touching and the length. Okay. against no trump. So this is important. You're prepared to sacrifice your jack to knock out their queen. Your ten to knock out their king. Their nine to knock out their ace to hope that your little guy grows up at the end, if it plays out that way. So Randy, from your perspective, you, you, when you see this diamond lead, you have to say, she's probably leading from length. She's got four or five diamonds. So this, your little guys are not going to grow up. She'll always have a higher one than you. So you did well. You didn't play your ace, king, queen. So those are three tricks, your three diamonds. You've, you've got two spades you can set up for two tricks. Your best source of tricks is in the heart suit. And what we have here is the jack 10, 9, 8 opposite the ace 3, 2. So we're going to win the opening lead in your hand. Let's, let's win the, doesn't matter. You can win any diamond. Uh, the first trick's a diamond. And what you should play at trick two is any heart, but I suggest the jack. And what you're hoping for is you're hoping that she covers it with the queen. Now, if he did play the jack, do you think you'd cover or do you think you'd play love? Okay, so cover an honor with an honor, as we'll see later. And you'll grab your ace. And Gordon will play low. Great, we'll turn that trick over. The lead is on the dummy, and we still have to knock out the king of hearts. So let's do that. Low heart. 
And Gordon, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, right now, the ace is gone, so I would take it right Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And we'll all follow. And Gordon, being a good partner, do you have another diamond in your hand? You would probably return your partner's suit. Randy's all over it with a diamond. Very good. Now, Randy, you've just established the ten and the nine of hearts. You've knocked out the queen and the king. Now, you want to knock out the ace of spades. So just, just play it out really quickly, and I think that might get you up to eight. So I'm low to the king and it lost to the ace on the spade. Okay. All right. So this hand comes down to the club suit and how you play the club suit. You're playing is to go over to the dummy and run the jack. Play Gary for the queen of clubs. You're okay. These are all winners. So go go start the club. Oh, she's doing it for you. So call, so call for the jack. That's okay. How, sorry, how do I know he's played that to me? Sorry, how do I know that? He let it. Because I heard he has to Hey, take it. Sorry, what you want? Hey, you jack. Yeah. Hey, you jack. Who's going to get it then? The jack. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, remember, I no, no, play your low. These hands are engineered for us to win. So I wasn't sure what was going on, so I played for Because your jack just won. Right, exactly. And now, and now play, play a club to your ten. How do we do? So you took a couple finesses, uh, club finesse, and you didn't take a heart finesse. Good. Yeah. So we're learning a lot of things here, um, and we'll just repeat these. Maybe you learned this previously. When you have a nine-card trump fit, Scott, she had five hearts. She had the ace jack ten five times, and you had four hearts to the king, so that's a total of nine. The only high card she's missing is the queen. So the odds say don't finesse for the queen, but play the king and the ace and hope it drops. So there's a, there's a little rhyme. It's called um, eight ever, nine never. Eight, always finesse for the queen. Nine, never finesse for the queen. Just try to drop it. And that's just a little, I, 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 I don't know, what do you call it? A little mantra to, to guide you. Yeah. Mnemonic. Yeah. Okay, new hand. Sometimes you might, you might finesse him. Sometimes you just play the diamond and just put it on the board. Play the diamond. You know it's going to win. You know it's going to win anyway. If you're not sure, just give them the trick. Is that way then they have to make that yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. If you want, Willa, you can play it out. But if you want to show everybody your cards, yeah. you've drawn the trumps, right? Yeah. And the ace of clubs has already been knocked out, right? Mm -hmm. And the ace king of spades are knocked out. So when one hand is high, you can just show it. Claiming. Claiming. Yeah. And are you posing or agreeing? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. So you did. Got your date? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so you got to keep her on the So I think you guys have high cards. You beat it, though. Okay. Let's see your, your hand very quickly. You went down to two. Every time you got frustrated, I won the trick. I won the trick. You always catch my tricks. I know, but I wasn't ready. All right. Jack of Diamonds leads. Okay, we'll just check this out. And, and, and at trick two, you used Holly played another diamond. Ah. I didn't win. No, you didn't. She played another diamond. Oh, and then she played another diamond. Okay, that might work on another hand because it's possible your six grows up. How might the six grow up? If you have three diamonds and, and Judy has... Okay. So this is where bridge becomes a game of logic. Peter was on opening lead against no Trump. What's Peter's strategy? Why did he lead a diamond? Uh, and something else, length. In, against no trump, we lead our longest suit. Why? To hopefully set up those little guys if we can keep hammering away at that suit. So you have to reason it. Trick one, he's got four diamonds, maybe five. If she knows it, because I went eight seven, tell him. Okay. So so let's save your diamonds for stoppers and go after your project suit. Looking at looking at the combined cards, what is your project suit? What's the suit that can give you the most tricks? Hearts. 
Hearts, you've got jack 10, 9, 8 opposite the ace. If the heart honors are split, you don't care how they're split, king or queen, queen or king, doesn't matter. If they're split, you could take three heart tricks. So a trick two after winning the queen of diamonds, put the jack of hearts on the table. Please? And Peter, it's up to you. Do you want to cover this or not? I just my hand, you're the captain. You can, yeah. okay. If you're playing reflex, like by re you might. Okay. If he plays low, you play low. And Judy, you're going to grab your king. Okay. And then you're going to be a good partner, return partner suit. Yeah. Okay. Holly, win your second okay. diamond, please. So well, she, he's, she's winning the king of hearts. So, so let's turn over two diamonds, please. Yeah. So the first diamond is the opening lead. Then the jack of hearts lost. And now she's playing another diamond. So two diamonds and a heart are gone. Okay, let's turn those over. You, you, you did. You won the first diamond, and you played this card, and it lost to Judy, and she's coming back another diamond. So now that's gone. Three cards are gone. Yes. Opening diamond lead. Opening diamond lead. Jack of hearts losing to the king. Another diamond. So low. And low from the dummy. Now, Holly, you're in your hand. Stay the course with the heart suit. Play Peter for the queen. Yep, yeah, play the ten. Peter, you may as well. You already played the king. Yep. So there's your finesse. Right. So, let's play the queen just for fun, just to, just to see how, it, just visualize it. There's the queen, grab your ace, those hearts are now good, but to set up your seventh trick and your eighth trick, go after a different suit. Which suit? You got, you got... Spades. Spades will give you two more. For a total of three diamonds, three hearts, two spades, and you might get a club in the wash. Depends. Maybe not. Eight tricks. Yeah. 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 So I'll give you a term. When you're declare, try to suss out your project suit. The project suit is project you got to work on. What does that mean? You might have to lose a trick or two. So the heart suit, you had to sacrifice. Okay, go on to the... Yep. That's a great bid. Very intuitive. Great, great, intuitive. So Kathy, you're playing my hand. So wait a second. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> what, what does two diamonds mean? <laughs> second, second, second red. So oh, 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 hang on a second. Yeah, I'm just going to improve one of David's bids here. Oh, okay. So when we did Stamen, two clubs, it says what? No, no, four. At least four. I have a four card major. And when I say that, I mean, uh, no, it's exact. So what's your plan? Let's go to play. Yeah. <laughs> You, it, it is four plus. It's four plus. So there's another bid you get to make here. And it's forcing. It's a big bid. It's not a two level bid. You have to go to the three level to say we're going to game partner. Beautiful. Randy, I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you know about your partner's hand now? Two things. Well, I know that he has. Uh, I know that he has. Uh, he wants to go to game. Yep. So he's got at least ten points. Yep. And he has at least five spades. And I'll just correct that at least to exactly five spades. If he had six spades, he would just go four spades. Because he knows you have two. But he doesn't know if you have three or four. So now the ball's in your court. Which game is best? You're going to insist on three no with only looking at only two spades because that only gets you up to seven. And if you if you have three spades, Randy, go put them in four. Also, you played the last hand and it's David's turn to play him. <laughs> right, yeah. Yep. And we will learn Jaco Jacoby transfers are in your future. Okay. Yeah, if they're not already. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm looking at this, 
Really yeah, are you in, uh, what are you in? Four space? So, yeah. He said to start the heart, so I have no losers there, right? No losers there. You, you, have, you have one potential loser, but you're going to rough it. Yes, you do have one potential heart loser. Okay. Because this goes under the ace, the king and the queen are hot, and this becomes a loser. Okay. But you can rough it. Spades? So you're going to take a finesse, take a finesse for the king. One potential loser. So you're hoping, and no club losers. So you should make this. You have to follow every time. And then once you, once, if he makes you rough a diamond, you're going to rough it. You're going to go over to the dummy and you're going to take a spade for this. Okay? Try that. St what are the messages of Stamen? What is he saying he has? He's saying he has a four card major. And when we say four card major, we mean exactly, not four plus. So, we're going to improve this bit just to get you on the right track. What's plan B? How do you sh how do you show how do you show a five card major? Six to nine. Zero to seven. Zero. You're to seven. you're thinking of, of what when partner opens one spade and you bid one no trump or okay. yeah. So partners open one no trump. The two levels are shut down uh, level. So you're on the right track. <laughs> one level higher. And watch this. If he bids three. Well, he's got 10 to 14. He's saying, we're going to gang partner. Which gang? And you can raise him in spades because you've got what in spades? At least three, maybe four. Okay. Catano is the declare. Exactly. If he had precisely four, we would have used him. And if he had six, he would have gone straight to gang. Now, is this a trump or what was this trick? That was, yeah, I, I had a bad club lead. Yeah, the, um, I, I got... I, I, let me I take a look. And I got in the desk okay, Randy, I, can uh, we see the dummy again? And then David, do you mind just putting back the... We'll just see. So I know you got the ki kitties off the street, then I walked away. So I just want to see if it's possible to make... Um, yeah, I think it was. I, I made a bad club uh, lead out of my... Dummy. Oh, away from the, yeah. uh, the honors instead of leading low towards the honors? Did you have the ace of yeah. clubs, Gordon? No, it's was leading at the ace. Oh, okay. Did you I have the low on the, on the first one, and I followed it up again. Well done. So I think too low, I could have cleaned up. I, I okay. So, okay, I, I think I know what this head's about. You know how uh, you, learn, you learn one concept, and then, then you learn the exception? So this is the exception. <laughs> Here we go. What was the opening lead? Do you remember the suit? Yeah, King of Hearts. King of Hearts. Okay. So, our plan is to win the ace. So we could just turn this trick over just to get ahead of ourselves here. Okay. Now, we're missing the Queen of Spades. And the, because we have eight of them, we're going to take a finesse. I think you did take a finesse. Perfect. I did a second finesse. Like, I went right through that. Perfect. But before we do that, there's a little work to do. So what we, remember we count losers in a suit contract? We now have one heart loser. And if we pull all three of dummies trumps, all jack 10 three, if we get the kitties off the street, like we're normally taught to do, we'll have an extra heart loser in our hand. So what we're gonna do right now, a trick two, is exit a heart, give them their heart. So let's, try, let's exit the heart. And anybody can win it, we don't care. So Gordon wins it. You can do whatever you like, Gordon. Okay. Yeah, I know. No. So, but she was giving it to me. Oh, okay. Um, were we supposed to put them down? Four to one under. No, let's just put the cards out. Dummy format. I don't know what to do there. You would go up the king to knock yeah, out the yeah, ace. Yeah. Yep, because it, it so we'll go up king, uh, and Francis is welcome to take her ace, but then she can't play a club. It would be to her detriment. So we follow. And that's a formidable dummy to lead into. You take your best shot. Sure, do a diamond. It doesn't give anything away. You want to rough this heart, so you want to win the next trick in your hand. So we'll grab the king. And it goes low, low, low. Now you get to rough a heart, which is always fun. So we're going to play your heart. 
Good. Small Trump. We expect him to follow. Yep. Now finesse in space. That's a good play, Francis. Play second hand. They'll make him finesse. Okay, he was up to the task. And we're going to repeat that. So you might lose one club. So um, no diamonds, one club. Um, no hearts. How do we win four tricks? You might have scored a heart in the end game. Two diamonds for sure. Did you score your king of spades, Drew? Yeah. So oh, I, I scored my king of spades. We scored two diamonds, and then we scored the jack of clubs. Yeah, clubs. Yeah, the oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was left with a club and a spade on the yeah, down with a club. You have to finesse, but which way do you know how to finesse? She didn't finesse, but as it turned out, she just played them off the top. So, we'll so very finesse. quickly, the best defense is ace, king, queen of diamonds. Yeah. Even though it, you're, you're, he's forcing you to rough. So let's play those three tricks, everybody. Three rounds of diamonds. Okay. Rough with your baby spade. Seven of spades. So all your diamonds are gone, yeah. and now the seven of spades. Yeah, yeah, no. So Sorry, tell me what rough means again. Trump. When you trump. trump okay. Rough, trump, fifth. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hit it. Okay. That's all I can think okay. of. So I, I oh, did that. Can we see the uh, trumps? And now, you see that you have one potential spade loser. Uh, uh, the, the seven's gone. Seven's gone. When you are in a trump suit and you're missing the king, you can only play one player for it. It's either here. Or it's here. Right. But, but what I and if I can just interject, I played nine high card points right off the top. So any other high card points, probably I don't have. Otherwise, that would be it. Right. Right. So it probably over there. Anyway, that's another clue that your spade is probably on side. Right. So don't lead a spade. Don't lead a low spade away from your ace. Travel over to the dummy and finesse Drew for the king. If Gary has the king, he's, he's going to score. But you don't need... Yeah, so let's come, let's come over to the ace of hearts. Low heart to the ace, please. You, you have to lead spades from this side. I'll show you. Queen of spades, and Drew is pickled. He's going to cover. Now grab your ace. You'll take the rest of the tricks. And then you take the rest of the tricks. Aces are for taking kings. There you go. You take the rest of the tricks. I get my jack and clubs unless you try to finish it, in which case you do. So apparently I did something wrong. So that was it. Well, I don't know. If you did, I just don't know what to do now. You want to leave towards the ace. I played these cards. Okay, he's entitled to his bid, but let's say he doesn't do that. Let's say he passes. I just wanted to use a certain bid here. Let's say he passes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're allowed to do that. So if you didn't have that bid, if you didn't have, I, I have to teach. If, if you're going to bid two diamonds, I'm going to give her a, 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 yeah, another lesson. Sure, let's just go for it. If he gets cubit his suit. Yeah. Before we go there, before we go there, is this what you said is inappropriate? Well, you're allowed to bid. No, I understand. It's it's pretty close. You're um, you might want to have a better suit. But there is, you know what I don't, there's the art of the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you've got finesse towards you. That's the platform for a transaction. Yeah, yeah. I've got yeah. Yeah. So my mind is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a system over no truck called don't. D O N T. You know what it stands for? Disturb opponents no trump. And that's what you're doing. You're disturbing their no trump. You're throwing a monkey in the ring. You're throwing a. No, it's bridge. That's bridge. Well, if he's going to do that, this is, and it's stamens, and it's sta he's got diamonds. He's got it will be if he's bidding two diamonds. This is really advanced stuff. When the opponents overcall your no trump bid, if you bid that suit, it's stamen and says, and it's game forcing stamen. Okay. How do you like them apples? So, what the hell did you just say? So, <laughs> so, 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 I got, I why I did what I She did. lost two clubs. Yeah. She lost the ability. Yeah. yeah. So, because we need our stamen back. Stamen's too crucial. So, this is it. Oh, this is Because in a million. Hang on. 
Uh, that's called a cubit. Uh, if he doesn't have it, he bids three no Trump. Three no Trump. Yeah. So this is the cubit. This is the cubit. And by the way, would she ever want to play this contract in diamonds? He's got five of them. Does she? Yeah. Good. 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 Look at this couple. Beautiful bidding. They're in your face. Wow. Now, Peter, if you have a four card major, you're okay. I would feel better if this whole thing the colors were the same. You still have to answer. This is a little troublesome. Do you have a four card major? Interesting, Ron. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that the right thing? I don't know. How many points you have? Eight. Well, yeah, now you, now you, yeah, you don't have to bid. You can pass too, because she, because Judy will bid. You must have a. So you, you have a one no Trump pass up. Yeah, I do. Okay, so who hasn't played yet? Which one of you guys haven't played? Hands. They both played one. Okay, so one of you guys who hasn't uh, played Stain. Stain. If he bids a major right now, he's got four of that major. So just pass. Four, you could bid four, no. That, to me, that would be 17 points. Well, there's no, yeah. Yeah, but you, you can't really bid black. Though. You don't know what, where you're going. You can pass. She's not going to pass. You can pass. You're never passing four diamonds, are you? This bid says we're going to game, and they're bidding at the four level? They're getting in your way, so... If Peter passes, well, this is an advanced option. Peter can pass here knowing that you're going to bid again. Or he can double to say, let's just double them. Penalty. He doesn't think he can make it. Yeah. So if you go down one, it's now 200. If you go down two, it's 500. If you go down three, it's 800. And you're happy to defend, Judy, because you have uh, defense. Well, he doesn't have four of these. Partner. You asked him if he had a four-card major. And he, didn't, he said no. If he had a four-card major, he would have bid it. You just have to take the money. Take the money. <laughs> Take the money. Pass. You're going to beat him, and you're going to get 200, 500, or 800, and on a good day, 1100. Call me back. <laughs> and you're on lead. I'm on lead. Yeah. So what was, what was counting winners? Right? Well, you're going to count the last I think I have seven. That was yeah. I think you're going to make it. Fourth highest and the longest and strongest. Sorry? It's the longest and strongest. It's the fourth highest. Fourth highest. Now, it's just a, it's just a yeah. Right. Um, and, and, and play on your project suit. Play on the suit so that, that needs development. So that might need you to knock out some aces. So, for example, Willa, if you have a suit with ace, king, queen, you can take those tricks whenever you want. You don't on this hand, but if you did, but that might set up one of their cards. Work on your length. He's got three cards higher than that. Yeah, knock out their cards. Yep. And he may have more. He may have something down here. Now, if that's your fourth highest, that means you've got, you've got three others that are... Can I, guys, guys, just want to make a... Kathy? Uh, Drew called me over because he wasn't sure. Is this a one no pass out? And yes, it is. Because why? You can't bid two clubs. You can't. You, you, might, you were trying to con us into doing that? Not you, but somebody who might go, oh, I've got long clubs, two clubs. You can't. That's gone. The ability to show clubs at the two level is, is gone. Now, now, if I had a six, do I do a transfer to minors? Not with two outside kings. You're happy. Yeah. One knows a great spot. And the other lesson on this hand happened last yesterday. Somebody made three. Somebody made game. That doesn't mean it's there to be bid. Drew sees six points. He knows you have at most 17 points. There is no game to be bid. It might make because every finesse works. It also might make if the defense makes mistakes. But we can't count on that. All right, so let's play it out. So you're telling me you've got more... We got the three no Trump. Awesome. One no Trump. Stamen, you bid two diamonds, and this hand with a singleton diamond just goes with three no Trump.
This hand is not worried about diamonds. So I should Why? <laughs> did David lead a diamond? Yes. That's a good lead. I did that because that was my longest. Yeah. Yeah. And he was able he helped you a little bit. Yeah. He knocked out the queen. Go up here. Yeah. That's the right, right play. That's your project suit. Knock up. A little work to do. That's a good play. And you're going to third hand high. Yeah. Preparing to knock out the ace. Now, keep at it. That's good. Now, just stop and pause here for a moment. Notice that David won his ace of clubs on the second time. He didn't grab it the first time, which is a good play. Uh, in bridge, we often play second hand love. Why? Because we have a partner. If you're the second hand to play, your partner is the fourth hand. Uh, you have to figure it out. No, 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 no. So, okay. Uh, so David correctly played low because what if, what if he might have had the king? And the worst thing in bridge, the worst feeling in bridge, <laughs> and it's fun to do, but when you're on the receiving end of this, it feels awful. Imagine if David popped up with his ace and Randy, singleton king, plays it. Crash. And especially no Trump. It happened to me uh, in November in Stratford, and I just went ballistic. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, so stay the course in the diamond suit, David. Um, yeah, you're up to, you got two in. Yeah, oh, yeah, your hoping partner has the 10 or the jack. I forget what he played the first time around. Jack, so you're hoping he has the 10. It's your only, your only hope. So you're gonna throw a loser. Okay, I'll... Spade, please. <laughs> All right. And now, for my guy, I can't um, lose any tricks. No, as soon as they get in, they've got diamonds. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I took that with the. Yep, that's a good play. So you're coming over to the Jack of Clubs. Jack. Yeah. Oh, we'll just wait for Randy here. Okay. Now the five. What suit is useless to She's five to the ten. Everybody's got a pitch. Okay, you guys are doing well to keep your diamonds. Oh, you're back. All right, she's doing well. She's going to make it. So the jack is the correct lead, top, top of an honor sequence. Now, we're going to get to the declare play. So it goes low, um, you could play the king or the three here. I played the three because okay. I was hoping to figure out where the ace is the queen led. Because what sure, the sure. This will make sense. The technically correct play is the king because if Renee had as good a holding as that, say, if she had that holding, her correct lead is still the jack. The jack promises the ten, denies the queen, so she might have the ace. So here's the beauty of this having this understanding. As soon as your partner leads the jack, you now know. It's like a magic trick. You know where the queen of clubs is. She, when partner leads the jack, which is the top. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I knew the queen was there. So now Scott knows the queen is there. But I didn't know how to get out. I assume the ace was there as well because I forgot that you were just leading your two. How come you're leading? Because you got to lead when you have three in a row. You got to lead top. Even if it's inside. Yes. Right. And inside. Yeah. So I'll just go over this. Watch this. Having the agreement that we lead the top of a sequence and partner leads the jack, Scott can now say, "Oh, my partner does not have the queen. If she and it's not there, right? So yeah, yeah. Yep. 
if there wasn't the club, so we'll play the king, same job, this time it knocks out the ace. All right, now I'm going to help Dune. Dune, almost, the, uh, he's playing the king this time. Almost, I won't say every, but pretty well every bridge hand you play is declare there is a project to do, a project suit. Which, and that means there's a suit to work on. Could be the trump suit, could be a side suit. In a no trump contract, it's going to be one of the suits. It's the suit that you need to develop tricks in. So if you look at your suits and look at dummy suits, look at the combined holdings in all of them. Which suit, with a little bit of development, by that I mean play on it, knock out their high cards, which suit gives you the most upside? What suit gives you the most tricks? You're right, right, hearts. And the, and the technically correct way to play hearts is get this king out of the way first to set up the length in your, your hand. So low. So low. Oh, but you were supposed to save your ace, not your king. Well, on declare play, you can see everything you have. So you're just going to go low heart to the king, knock out their ace. If they duck it, low heart back to your king, knock up the king. So just very, I'll just play it very quickly. Watch this. Low heart to the king, and Scott grabs his ace. So he grabs his ace, and being a good partner, he returns his partner's suit. Club, grab your queen. Club, club. Okay. Now those hearts are ready to go. You could take them now if you want to. And three tricks, and we'll throw some losers from the dummy. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, you're yeah, right there. Now, you, you, the spades has an up, some upside, but you want to lead low towards the queen and hope that Scott has the king. So now we're going to play the diamond suit. I'm just doing this quickly. You always have to lose to the ace of diamonds, but you might not have to lose to the queen. Does that make sense? You always have to lose to an ace. So uh, I was going to say the jack. We're going to run the jack. So jack of diamonds. Now, Renee. Yeah. yeah. Now let it ride. Hope that Renee has the queen. So it's gone. Jack, low, low. Go ahead, play your queen, Scott. Oh, he doesn't have it. The jack just held. So basically, you just told us. How did I go? What happened? It was my wife down three. It should have been down three for eight bones, Mrs. Jones. Eight bones? Eight hundred, because it was vulnerable. So, eight hundred. Two, five, eight. Yeah, look on the back of the double card. Here it is, right here. Eight hundred. I feel a lot better because you said it was fifteen. I feel so much better. So, so this is why we play the game. You get to roll the dice. If you, you pay your entry fee, you can bid on whatever you want, and you might get a top board. Yeah, I love, but, but I like your bid because you have five trumps. Yeah. This can't go wrong. Oh, this is a... But you got four of these there. Let's check for... This is in my homework. This is in my homework. What do we... So. You do, but you can have your cake and eat it too here. Let's start with Stan. Watch this. He has a four-card major. He has a four-card major. What you're saying is if you only have one of them, yep. more than four, yep. then, you do that. then you do what he did two hands ago. But when you have a five-card major and a four-card major, stay in first. Yeah, you got a four-card major. If you don't have a four-card major, then he'll jump in his five-card major. Yeah, I have time. You got time. This is beauty because the option stays alive. I forget this hand. What have you got? Yeah, here's the beauty of this bid. Yes. So, this is what I love about Stamen. Has, have you, did you finish the auction? Yeah, yeah we ended up in three heart, but I didn't. No, I we ended up in three no trump. trump. Three no trump but okay. So when we have a five card major and a four card major, yes. and Stamen, Stamen is dependent on showing a four card major, yes. and you have gain going values, right? Okay. So you have time. So let's watch this auction. Let's let's visualize it. Oh, I see. I forgot. One no trump. Let's bid. Let's bid two club Stamen. Yeah. 
Now here's the beauty of this bid. You've got two kicks at it here. Yes. If he shows a four card major, yes. boom, Sorry, there's your major. Yes. So he, Gordon's gonna bid, ta-da, spades. Uh, you actually have a 4-4 four, four spade fit. Yes. Yes. Stamen unlocks or locates the 4-4 four, four spade fit. You'll have time to show your five hearts. How would I do that? Well, let's say he bids two diamonds. Oh, I see, yes. Okay, worst case scenario. Okay. Now, what were you about to do? What did you do the first time around? So, three hearts. So I'm now, so do it now. Yeah. Now, watch this. Let, let three hearts and watch this. You on February 27th and then the 29th. And he doesn't have, he only yeah. has so, two. So, so Gordon, why three is she jumping to the three level in the major? She Not must have five, five of those. But why did she use stamen? Because she has a four card major. Right. So, this, so you have your cake and eat it too here. So it should be but you're, you found your four, when he bid spades, mission accomplished. So if I only had, if I had five hearts and I only had three spades, I would have bid hearts. Then you, yeah, you don't go looking for the spade fit. Yeah. That was his hand. That was, yeah, that was exactly David's hand. So let's play it in, let's have Gordon play four spades. Well, if you have two fives, do you have a four card major? No, so you don't use stamina. So then what uh, two fives jump in your uh, uh, I would say I would say your higher one. Yeah. She might bid three no, and then if she bids so let's say you're five five in both majors, one no trump, three spades. What's the worst thing she's going to do? Bid three no. Now correct to four hearts. She doesn't have two double twos. She'll pick hearts. Later on. You'll learn transfers. It's a bit expensive, it's a bit cheap later. Yeah. Well, 50 to 70. So far, so good. So now I can do this. Did you get the notes from last week, Scott? I've got to get catch you up, I think. Yeah, we did. Did you get the statement notes? No. Oh. You came on Sunday last week. I'll, if I get your email, I'll, I'll email them too. Very good, Dune. Very, very good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And Bernadette knows what to do with that. So this is an invitational sequence. Very good. So, Kathy, you're playing here. Bernadette is the one no Trump opener. So if you had the bet where the king of spades was, it might be in any one of the three hands. But at, based on the bidding, Bernadette is the most likely person to hold it. Okay, but she's most likely to hold any spade. Any, any, any right, but she, if you've got the ace, she's not entitled to her king. So that's the correct lead against a no trump contract. No trump, you can underdeed your aces. I'll make this clear later, but against a suit contract, you don't want Bernadette scoring her king if she has it. Oh, so I gotta go. Ignore this. Yeah, ignore the spade suit. Don't even touch it. It's too dangerous. Even though on this hand, Renee does have the king. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to see to my partner that I was strong here, but I had no order, so that's why I did that. But I, yeah, today it would hit a home run, but uh, let's see, it went one no trump, two clubs, two hearts, three hearts, four hearts. So you, you would just probably leave that one in. Top top of your top of your double team. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you'll maybe you'll create a diamond void and get a diamond rock. Well, I'll go over opening leads another week. If, so we looked at a, an example of this. If Bernadette has the king, she's going to lead low to, from the dummy towards her king, and you're there with the ace grabbing the material. And uh, doing hearts on the your far right, please. Uh, Gary, is the final contract hearts? Okay. So we'll just put get the trumps over on the. Uh, now, now Drew, Drew, um, <clears throat> the final contract is uh, four hearts. You're under leading. You're under leading a big. Yeah. <laughs> Let's the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, what color is that? So, 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 now, that, okay, why, so why he was about to underlead an ace, yeah. and it might have gone low, low, king. This is the hand I'm talking about. Now, as it turns out, good old partner Willa has the king, but Drew doesn't know that. He's going to play the percentages and lay off that suit. 
this is actually interesting to him because I never played from a double set of this and I have to. Yeah. Yes. But how do I know that's not? Why do you guys tell me there wasn't no Trump? Sorry, but how do I know that's not your fourth? It could be my fourth. Actually, you're absolutely yeah. right. How do I, I don't know that. Well, yes, you do. Take a look at your, your, your dummy and take a look at your hand. Oh, right, what what right, are the three right, higher right. diamonds he could possibly get? Yeah, yeah, so it's not. Yeah. So what's he telling me that without being He's not telling you anything. He's okay. just leading a diamond. Okay. And if, if you're going to reason anything, it's a singleton or a doubleton. Okay. What's okay. after uh, eight? Okay, oh, sorry. So one. Yep. Yeah. You had five, six, seven, eight, so you go to one. Somebody has the king. And I'll get you two, three, four. So yeah, can, can I, we just see the dummy, Francis, just very, very, very quickly, just to see the approach. So, and, I'll, and we'll just review why, how we got there. So should I need to get it out? Count, if we're going to count any suit, count John. Oh, I should get it out, get it out. No, for most of you, stamen is your first convention, and it's one of the two or three only conventions you need to play this game. Is there a missing spade? Just spread it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it underneath the four? Did it get mixed in with another hand? <laughs> Spade, did it get... So and I can stop some, was it the ten of spades? Yeah. Oh, you have the ten of spades, Randy? And what was Randy's opening lead? Two a diamond. No. Two third one. It was a high club because I was thinking, okay, with my partner led a club. Yep. Which meant that he should have the second one. And later I was going to lead a club, but we'd already drained it, so that wasn't going to make sense because they would just trump it. So what happened was, I got king of clubs. Oh, that's a good lead. King of clubs is a great lead. Yep. Took it. Yep. And then, um, and then I played the to Jack to try and get the queen. But he had the queen. He got the queen. Then, it, then he had the ace king of hearts. And it went heart, heart, heart. Now you have to rough with the ace. Okay, so that's the key play. So just to, just to improve it just a little bit, I would say to myself, I have one spade loser, potentially the queen. So I'm going to finesse for it. You, you finessed Randy for it. I have no diamond losers because I have the ace, king, queen, jack. You always have two heart losers, the ace and the king. These are two losers. And, and the only place to get rid of them are by roughing them in the dummy. So the most convenient way to play the hand is king of clubs, jack, low, ace, immediately rough a club. Goes low club, low spade, low club, low spade. Now, out of convenience, we're now in a position to finesse uh, David for the spade. So low spade, low. Jack, hallelujah, it happens to win. And you should play that another spade. Okay, the tennis. Tennis. Uh, rough a club with no, the ten of spades. Cash the king of spades, low, 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 low diamond for the king, the ace of spades, draw the king. You follow? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No? It's a fast okay. day. So, no, but that's, that, I mean, that, just recognizing. What are we going to do with this? I know I'm going to look like this. That was my mistake, I was trying to queen right away. So, should I use my ace? You you can you use the ace without the ace? Yeah. So, so you better, got it. We, we draw the keys off the street. We keep them if we need to rough things. Here, we need to rough the ace clubs. So, so what's your project? As soon as possible, rough the project. When you say rough, you already rough. So you're rough. 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 Roughly, and you know we've got a lot of ways. So when you say you're going to, so when you say you're going to rough it in the dummy, that means you're going to trump it in the dummy. Trump it in the dummy. Is that turn? Low club, trump it in the dummy with the three. And that's the first trump we're playing. Now we're in there. We're going to play the four spades and finesse for the queen. Continue the course. As David just said, you, they've got nine clubs. Chances are they'll follow these clubs each time. On a bad day, David over the ten of spades with his queen on a bad day. That means Randy had seven of them. 
majority. Yeah. Anyway, how's our time? We got time for more? Got time for another? Have you all played one? Good. Mission accomplished. So, one, if you, can you turn over your seven of diamonds, please? Trick one. When Drew led the seven of diamonds, you were looking at the ace, queen, jack, ten, nine. He does not have the king of diamonds. That's one thing you could have inferred. Why? Because if he had, uh, I, I guess it's possible. Were we missing the eight? What was this one? Okay, I, I take it back. When you played a diamond, um, and the what held? Did you win the eight or the nine? The eight. Sorry, the nine won at trick one. Yeah. The nine won at trick one. Okay. So there's still a finesse position in diamonds. You may not know where the king is, but you still have to play Willa for it. Okay. So at some point you cashed the ace of diamonds. Yeah. You cashed it. I don't know where. One of these ones. Yeah. yeah. Here. Yeah. When you bang down your ace of diamonds, you collected small cards. Aces are meant to take. So, so lead a diamond from the board. See what Willa does. If Willa plays low, you play low. If Willa plays the king, you play the king. So always on ace, pull back, pull back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't throw it out. Let somebody else find towards it, or you can waste it. You're wasting. It collects little things. Somebody needs to remember. Yeah, that's right. We're trying to find our major fit. Good bid, Randy. I had to throw in one. Yeah, see? You pass the test. Just one. When you bid one of a major, Randy, what are two things you know about your partner's head? So, he's got five cards. He might only have four, because he's responding. He doesn't think we should be engaged. Well, actually, he doesn't know. He's got six or more points. It's unlimited. It's 100% forcing. It's keeping the bidding alive. But if he had, if he had 13 points, yep. he'd go two hearts. No, that's a different bid. Ha haven't learned that one yet. Yeah. So when we jump the bidding at the two, like you've just opened one of a minor, you have a very wide range. You're 13 to 21 points. We need our time. We need to take our time to figure out where our fit is and how high we belong. One heart is open. It's vague. It's six or more points, four or more hearts. 100% forcing. Here's the beauty of it. Watch this. I'm just going to put this over here. It's your bid. You have to bid right now. What's the most descriptive bid you have? If you're strong, you're going to jump the bidding. If you're weak, you're just going to keep the bidding low. That's your second best bid. First, first priority, do you have four card heart support? David's promising four, do you have four? Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> much, Two, three, four, five. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> yeah, but he, remember he's got four or more hearts. He might have five or six. All right, what's two things you know about your partner's hand? Uh, well, definitely has 13 or more points because he opened the bidding. He's actually put a little ceiling on his bid now. He's, he's in a certain range. He's not... Uh, if I have got six or more, my lowest is six. He's put a ceiling of 19 points. Uh, if he had 19, he... If he had 19, he would put you in game. So he, so that when we open the bidding with 13 to 21, we have three categories of our strength. 13 to 15, 16 to 18, 19 to 21. So he's in the lowest category, 13 to 15. And how many hearts did you have? Nope, exactly four. If he had five, he would have opened a heart. If he had three, he would have rebid something else. So there's actually a lot of information being exchanged. Now, you take those two things. Oh, okay, so to answer that question, that's a, called a strong jump shift. Partners open the bidding at the one level, and we're using up all this bidding room. We better have good stuff. And the old, the, the old fashioned uh, message is 17 or more points, five or more hearts and it gets into slam bidding. It would show interest in a slam. 
So. What is that? So he would have to add on 17 points. 17 points. He's tired. Might not have more points. You could. It's aggressive because if you've got you've got 11, right? If he's got 13, that's 24. Right. So you can do it. You can always do whatever you want, but the the system bit is three hearts to say, partner, I've got 11. Back over to you. Go with 14. Pass with 13. And Randy, you should go because you've got 14. I <laughs> have. Tell you what, I, special offer. Special offer. Is this March? Is this the first Monday in March? I got a special offer for you. Play this contract. If he makes four, we'll pretend you were in four. If he makes only three, that was the contract. <laughs> <laughs> but try to make four. <laughs> okay, so Gordon's on leave. Is there a finesse you can play? Yeah, he's hard Oh, tell you, we're really, we're really reinforcing your point here. So can I ask? I think he's got four spades. What do you think? Yeah, that's what we concluded. Yeah, finally. So then the question is whether I want to go. If you have four spades, correct the contract with four spades. If you, beautiful. I love this auction. Spades were first mentioned at the four level. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, trumps go on the far left to declare, far right for the dummy. Just the trump suit. I was thinking about getting stuff off the street, but I've got problems here. Especially, do I want to clear some of this out? So that I can... Yeah, what's happened in the club suit? Did they take the first... No, I took the first two. Diamonds. Uh, okay. Oh, you took the ace and king. The diamonds, I took... The ace and the king. And I just... Oh, wait, Gary, two tricks? Yeah, this is oh, a. Uh, you, you should be okay. The, the whole key to this hand so is since there's nothing to rough in the dummy. Okay, oh, I guess at the end there'll be a club to rough, but you'll, you'll have one. So you could get the kitties off the street here. If you have more than one heart in your hand, yeah. you want to unblock it by taking these out. So I go with the. Uh, I want to get it into my hand, don't I? Yeah, you want to draw. You, so you've got nine, they've got four. So you want to draw two rounds in any order. You can start with the king or you can start with the ace. Start with the king. And they're going to play low, low, low. And now low to your. You can either win, you can play the ace or you can take a finesse. It's up to you. So low heart. Well, you could, and this is the thing I haven't taught anybody yet. So it's an old-fashioned rhyme. It goes like this. Eight ever, nine never. Did you, have you guys heard of that one before? So it applies to playing on a suit where you have eight of them and you're missing the queen. If you had a total of eight missing the queen, <clears throat> then take a finesse for the queen. Eight ever. But when you have nine... Well, either she has a queen and he has nothing, or he has right there. The odds say play for the drop, so bang down your ace. And the odds say he's going to play... There it is. Okay, so mission accomplished there. Now you play on a side suit. And you can, you can lose three. Now I can do my uh, <laughs> You're so, so sportsmanlike. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. When you do play clubs, this is a finesse position, you want to start clubs from the dummy because you're, you're going to play Francis for the queen. You always have to lose to the ace of clubs, but you might not have to lose to the queen. So, so on lead against no trump. Uh, at the beginning of my lesson tonight, I said how we, against a suit contract, we don't underlead an ace. Right? We don't underlead an ace against a suit contract. But against a no trump contract, you can underlead an ace. I said that's okay. But look at the diamond position, jack 10 9. That's a stronger lead. 
So, it's okay that you led the three of spades. This doesn't do any no, damage. Did, you led the three of spades. I won with an eight. I remember winning with an eight, which I was surprised And that's okay that you won the eight. Where's, where, where is it? Um, where's the king? Oh, it's, it's, it's hiding in with the clubs. Yeah, it, does, it still didn't give anything away. Low, 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 eight. And then you could give them their next spade trick, and then your ace ten grow up. So leading a spade starts to develop two spades for you. You're entitled to two spades. Um, you're only entitled to one diamond. So as it turns out, the spade lead might be better on this hand. I've been coaching folks to lead top of a sequence because it doesn't give anything away. But the key to this hand is the declare play. Once Scott wins the opening lead, he has to look at his combined assets and say, oh, hearts is got the most upside. All I need is for the queen and king to be split. If the queen and king are split, or if Dune has both of them, by putting the jack of hearts on the table, it's Dune's play. What, is, what can Dune do to... What can she do? You're going to cover it, right? You're going to play low? You're going to cover the jack. He's going to grab his ace, and he's going to knock up your king, and he's going to score those two plus the ace. Okay? But they were... Oh, how did, how did it go? King was over here. When they're split, Scott played the jack, you played low, and he played low, and Bernadette won her king. Later on, Scott got to his hand and he put another heart through you. He played it. Sorry, these are your hearts. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, this guy's hit the wall too. It's okay. She has her jack. Yeah, I'm just going to look at the kings here. Can I see your kings? Okay, yeah. I know. That's when I start sounding like wah, 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 wah. Okay, now give me the link for all the ones you missed. Remember, each Oh, I have my name. Forgetfulness. So it doesn't matter. We can, if actually, if you don't mind, can we put them back in suits? Please? Thank you. There's nothing to do. Uh, folks, just a quick announcement. Looks like we're wrapping up. Go ahead and finish the last hand. Uh, we've got, just to, yeah, just to reconfirm, we've got two more lessons, and we're, we'll do them on the next two Mondays. And uh, next week, I'll uh, have some more uh, auctions for us to learn, but I'm going to start visiting opening lead strategy, uh, why we lead top of an honor sequence, uh, when we can underlead an ace, why we shouldn't underlead an ace. I'll give you some more examples of that. And uh, we'll start to also look at some things like second hand low and third hand high. And if you haven't got it already, I've got the answers to the homework over here and some notes.